بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ یو نو وٹ دس فلسطینین ایشو ہیز گیون اس اپارٹ فرام بوچرڈ اینڈ میسکرڈ کورپسز اٹ ہیز گیون اس اے لسٹ آف پیپل دیٹ وی یوز ٹو فالو ہو وی یوز ٹو لسن ٹو ہو وی یوز ٹو واچ اٹ ہیز گیون اس اے لسٹ آف پیپل دیٹ وی شوڈ never ever follow again i'm talking about people on social media that you saw as motivational speakers uh, people on uh, social media that you saw as as people that always spoke up against injustice it has shown you and me that some of the people around us at our workplace our colleagues, our classmates, our neighbors, how they think and how they react to different type of uh, situations that happen around the world. For example, if you go back a little bit in time, you'll see the reactions of people when it came to Ukraine, where journalists were actually saying that they are like us. So it hits hard when it hits home and we know how it feels and things like that. Buses were sent from Norway. Buses were sent from other places in Europe as well. And they were packed up of uh, Ukrainians and uh, they were brought in Norway. Norway actually gave Ukrainians uh, lots and lots of uh, benefits when they came to Norway. But when we look at the whole situation in Palestine now, even before that, Afghanistan, Syria, Libya, Iraq, Iran, all the places that uh, West has been involved in bombing and then wondering, what are these people in, doing in our country? Well, you know what they're doing in your country because you took their country. Simple as that. So this whole situation about Palestine has to make some changes in your life and that means that you need to unfollow you need to get rid of every single brand from that individual who supported genocide of palestinians you need to unfollow every single celebrity i'm not going to be seeing any more movies of any individual that has taken part and taken side of israel at this very point if they were not moved by the little babies being martyred, killed, butchered, slaughtered. If that did not change them, then they, they, they are not worth it. They don't deserve our money. And I'm talking about the brands as well. Every single brand that does not stand with Israel or Palestine at this very point, is actually with Israel. You have to realize that and you have to know this. If they're not with Israel, who's bombing and killing people, and they say, no, we don't want to take a stance, well, they're with Israel. As simple as that. Two plus two, that's the only thing you need to keep in mind. If they're not with Palestine, they are with Israel. Simple as that.